Hello students, welcome back to your channel, Rosie Maths Class. This video is for class 6 students. We are going to solve question number 8 from chapter number 2, Lines and Angles. And that's given on page number 43. Page number 43, question number 8. So the question is, make the paper craft as per the given instructions. Then unfold and open the paper fully. Draw lines on the creases made and measure the angles formed. So the instructions are given in the form of pictures. You need to make the craft and then you need to unfold it fully and measure the angles formed. So let's get started. For this you need square shaped paper. So I have taken this origami paper and I will take a light color. Choose a light color because you need to draw the lines. Right, so I will choose this green color. You can choose any light color so that the lines are clearly visible to you. Okay, so this is my sheet and this is a square sheet. First step is to fold it. Fold it like this. Okay, so when we fold it, these two corners should be together like this. And then you press it with your finger like this. Do it properly otherwise we will not get the crease properly. Okay somewhat like this. Okay this is your first step. Next step you keep it like this and you make a fold like this. Okay like this it becomes like a boat and then again you press it hard so that you get proper crease when you open it up. After this is done, we are going to fold it like this. You see that? Like this. It is forming a triangle here. Again you press it hard like this. So that you get proper crease. And this one also you have to do like that. Little gap is there. Like this. Just left little gap here. Okay. Turn it like this. This is picture number 6. You see this is like a square. There are 4 sides. 1, 2, 3, Four. Four sides are there. Now we will make it five sides. How do we do that? Take this part and put it inside like this. Okay. So then press it hard. Now see we have got five sides. One, two, three, four. Five, five sides. Try to get this side and this side of equal length. Okay, now this is your picture number 7 given in the textbook. Picture number 8, you just need to draw the eyes. So we will draw the eyes like this. And then you have the nose. And then the mouth given like this. Okay, somewhat like this and also here I just forgot to tell you when we are folding like this no this one also needs to be folded this part we can fold it like this so now it will become six sided this will become six sided figure okay this is your picture number eight with the face and the six sides are one two three four five six so now our paper craft is done and this is how it looks now the next step is to unfold and open the paper fully so we need to open it up now so we'll just open it up we we'll start from here just completely open it up 
Now see here when I open it up, I see some crease. These are called the creases. These lines formed are the creases. Okay. These are the creases. Now we need to draw lines on the creases and measure the angles formed. We have to measure the angles formed. So how do we do that? You can take a ruler like this. Draw the lines. Like this one is one crease. Then we have creases here. I think this is also one crease where we folded. So this is one line formed. Let me use a pen so that it becomes darker. Okay. This side. So this is. Okay. Then this big one. I'm going to draw a line here. You can use a bigger scale if you have. This is a And I think now this one is left. This is the last one. So now this is what it looks like with all the lines drawn. And if you see these looks like parallel lines. That means at the same distance. This line is at the same distance of this. Like the distance between these two lines are equal. These two are equal. So these are like parallel lines. And now we need to measure the angles. There are so many angles formed. Like this angle here. This angle. This angle. Then you can measure this angle. All these are the angles that you need to measure using your protector. I think this looks like a L. So it might be a right angle. We can measure it. And this should be a proper line. See here there is some marking. It should not be like this. It should be a smooth line. Since I have drawn with pen, I cannot erase it now. But just make sure it is a smooth line. Okay. This should not happen. So now I will use this protector to show you how to measure the angles. I place it like this. And if you see here, it's written 45 here. This is 45 degrees angle. Right. So we will say this is 45 degrees. To measure the next angle. We can place it like this. And then again we see it is showing. Now you have to start from here. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. And this is 45. So this is also 45 degrees. This angle would be 90 degrees. Because this is L shaped angle. And if you want you can measure it. Like how it is 90 degrees. You can measure it like this. See this is. 90 degrees angle you can see here 90 degrees right so this angle here is 90 degrees so I have shown you these three angles 90 degrees 45 degrees and 45 degrees find out the rest of the angles and in our next video we will see what are the measures that we get I hope you find this activity interesting thank you